Hello everyone, this is Pujita from Naresha Technologies. Today let's see how to solve percentages in a more easy manner. Okay, before watching this video, you should watch percentage part 1. Okay. So today we are going to see how to see. For example, there is 33 percent is of 90. Okay, so I want to find 33.33 percent is of 90. Is it so easy to calculate? See 33.33 divided by 100 into 90. So it is very difficult, right? So let us see how to solve these type of problems in an easy manner. Before solving this, we are supposed to know how to write fraction in a form of percentage and percentage in the form of fraction. Okay, see, first let us see fractions to percentage. Okay, for example, if I write 1 by 2, okay, in percentage how much it will be? Nothing but into 100. So, how much? 50 percent, right? So, 1 by 2 is 50 percent, okay. And similarly, 1 by 3 is 33.33 percent, okay. And 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 100 by 4 nothing but, so 25 percent. And 1 by 5, 20 percent, okay. And similarly, 1 by 6, 16.66 percent, 1 by 7, 14.2857, okay. And 1 by 8, 12.5 percent. And 1 by 9, 11.11, 1 by 10, 10% and finally 1 by 11, 9.09%. Fine. You are supposed to remember these values in order to solve problems in a more easy manner. See, 1 by 2 is easy, however 100 by 2, it is 50%, this is very easy and 1 by 4, 100 by 4. 25 percent and 1 by 5 is also easy, 20 percent, 1 by 10 is also easy, right, 1 by 10, 10 percent, okay, now let us see, 1 by 9 is 11.11, if it is 9 in the denominator, you will get 11, if it is 11 in the denominator, you will get 9, see, if it is 1 by 9, 11.11, if it is 1 by 11, 9.09. Okay, so 9 and 11 are just reverse, okay. And 1 by 3, 3, so you will get 33.33, only 3's, okay. And 6, see 1 by 6, you will get all 6 except first one is 1, see 1, 6 and 6, 6, okay. You can remember like numerator 1, 1 and denominator 6, 16.66, okay. So 1 by 7, it is a magical number, let me say you in the last. And 1 by 8 is 12.5. If you remember these values, you can solve problems in a very easy manner. Okay. Now, if you remember these values, for example, there is a problem like 66.66 percent is of 60. Okay. 66.66 percent is of 60. So, how to solve? Basically, 66.66 by 100 into 60, right? Yes. So, instead of this, what we are going to do is, see, it is 66.66. How can I get 66.66 by using any of this? If I do into 2 here, yes, into 2, I will get 66.66. It is nothing but 2 by 3 or else I can go here, see. If I want to get 66.66, what I should do? Into 6, yes. So, into 6 means 6 by 9 is nothing but 2 by 3. Yes, so the value is 2 by 3. So, entire instead of this, I will write 2 by 3 into 60. So, 20, how much it is? 40. Okay, this is how easily we can find percentage. Okay, for example, there is a question like okay, 27.27 percentage of 88. Okay, I am supposed to find 27.27 percentage of 88. By using of this, how can I find? See, observe carefully. See here, it is 9.09, 27. How can you get 27? One thing you should do is 9 into 3. So, I just check 9 into 3. So, how much it is? 27.27 means the value is 3 by 11, right? 
So, 3 instead of entire thing I will just place 3 by 11 into 88. So, 11 ones, 11 eights. So, how much it is? 24. So, 27.27 percentage of 88 is nothing but 24. If I want to find 2 by 3, what can I do? Just into 2, okay? That is very easy. 33.33 into 2 will give me 66.66. If I want to find 2 by 4, it is also very easy. Just into 2. If I want to find 2 by 5, also just into 2, 40 percent. But see here, 7. If I want to find 2 by 7, means what I should do? 14.2857 into 2. Is that so easy? No, right? Actually, 7 is a magical number. Let me explain you what is that. 1 by 7 is 14.2857. Just remember this value and draw a circle. Write all the values. See what is first? 1, 4, 2, 8, 5 and 7, right? Just remember this. 1 by 7, 14.2857. And just write all the values in the form of circle. Okay. So, if I want to find 1 by 7, what is the least number in all this? It is 1. So, after 1, just leave 2 numbers. Means with 1, leave 2 numbers. Means leave 1 and next one 4. Leave. Now, place a point here. So, it will be 14.2857. 14.2857. Okay. If I want to find 2 by 7, what is the next least number in this? After 1, what is the next list number? 2. So, with 2, leave 2 numbers. Means, I will leave 2 and I will leave 8. So, it will be 28 point, again up to 2 I should write. 28.5714. Okay. If I want to find 3 by 7, 1 is done, 2 is done. Then, what is the next list number? 4. So, with 4, 2 numbers. So, it will be? 42.8571, 42.8571. Similarly, if I want to find 4 by 7, next till is number 5. So, after 5, 2 numbers means 57.1428, okay. And similarly, 5 by 7, 6 by 7, 7 by 7, 1, okay. So, there is a problem like 30.5714 percentage of 49. So, how can I write? See this value is 5714. In which fraction we find this? 7, right? 2 by 7 value is how much? 28.5714, right? So, now can I write it as 28.5714 plus 2 percent? Yes, so that will be 30.5714. So, 2 percent of 49, right? So, now instead of this, what we can write? 2 by 7. So, 2 by 7 into 49 plus 2 by 100 into 49, right? In part 1, we had seen how to calculate 2 percent, 1 percent, everything in an easy manner, right? So, now this will be how much? 14 plus 2 by 7. 14 plus this value is 0 0.98. So, total 14.98. So, 30.5714 percentage of 49 is 14.98. Okay, this is how we will convert fractions to percentage and percentage to fractions. In next video, we will see how to solve problems and percentages. Thank you for watching. This is Poojita from Narayshai Technologies. Mm -hmm.